I cannot believe the day is finally here. I've been working towards this forever. Welcome back to another video. I have little Miss Brisa here today. She wanted to say hello. Say hi, Mama. Hello. It's where she talks the most early, early in the morning at 6 a.m. or 6.30 when she wakes up. She's in her, her bath and she's just like, la, 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 la. <laughs> Aren't you? She's smiling because it's true. <laughs> She's actually here because she doesn't want to take her nap. And so for today's video, it's actually a little bit different. Um, my, like, I guess job in school is something that I haven't really opened up about on my channel. And I wasn't gonna really talk about my whole journey because something that I really, really struggle with is me being my age and not and feeling like I'm not where I thought I would be at this age or feeling like I just made so many mistakes and wasted time doing other things when I was younger. So, but I know, I, you know, I thought about it and it's like even though I'm still struggling with it now, I know that this video is going to help somebody else out there or it's going to help someone who's Maybe you're trying to get into nursing school or trying to get a better job and you're grieving or something really terrible in life happened to you. So I hope you just watch this video and I hope that it can help you. So I'm going to talk about my journey getting into nursing school. So for those of you who know, those of you who are taking your prereqs or that you just got into the program or you're a nurse, you know how hard it is. My school requires, you know, like all the science classes, anatomy, physiology, microbiology, but you have to take chemistry to get there and all your math classes. And on top of that, it's like two psychology classes, medical terminology, dosage calculations, introduction to nursing. I can go on. So I want to say that I went back to school in 2016 and that's when I I used to work as a personal banker and I quit that job so that I could have more flexible hours to go back to school. So that's kind of like when I started my journey to try to get all my prereqs done for nursing school. So I'm gonna fast forward and talk about the times that I applied to nursing school. So I applied to nursing school not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. <laughs> four times, yes. And it wasn't necessarily that I got rejected every time. There were some things that happened in my life that prevented me from taking the next step or proceeding with my application process or with taking the T's, different things like that. So yeah, let's talk about the different times that I applied to nursing school. Okay, so the first time I applied to nursing school was February 2018. I had just found out that I was pregnant with my first baby, Braxton. And if you're new to my channel, um, I guess I'll explain Braxton's story in a little bit. That will explain to you also the name of my YouTube channel. If I keep looking over, it's because Reese is right here. She doesn't want to take her nap. <laughs> okay, so the first time I applied was February 2018. I just mentioned that I had just found out about Braxton. <laughs> and... Um, so I applied and there's like three different steps for my school for the application process. You go meet with a counselor and then you have to make sure that you have all your prereqs and all the requirements. Then you take that application to the nursing department. Then they email you a form and you have to fill that form out and take it back in. Then you wait to see if you're going to be invited for the T's. So I did all of that and I got invited to the T's. So that was like the first time that I got really excited and, you know, started thinking, wow, like the ball is rolling after all these years and I might be a nurse in two years. So after thinking about everything, um, and I like, I regret this decision now, but after thinking about everything, you know, I was expecting to have Braxton 
on September 10th. That was his due date. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to wait to take the T's and reapply next semester because if I get into the program, which I was confident that I would, um, you know, I thought I'm going to start the program right, like literally right when Braxton is born and like we don't have family here, it's going to be really hard, you know. So I decided to wait. During that time, that little gap, my school decided to add two more prerequisites. Okay, so... I'm pregnant with Braxton and I start taking that psychology class. I think it's like lifespan psychology. So I started taking that class in August and I'm due to have Braxton in September, September 10th. And the next application filing period for the nursing program was in September. So I started doing all of that over and in my head I'm thinking like, okay, you know, I'm like, I'm confident I'm going to get in this time and I'm going to get invited for the T's. So I'm thinking I'm going to start school in January thinking Braxton would have been like four months old. So, you know, I had it all planned out perfectly, you know. So, okay, this is like the hard part. It didn't turn out that way at all. So the second time I applied to nursing school was... <laughs> Okay, I'm trying not to cry because people are always telling me that I all I do is cry on my channel, so... <laughs> okay, I applied the second time on September 11th, and, like, I talked about this on my stillbirth story because that was the day. I went and turned into my application packet, and then a few hours after that is when I found out that my son passed away. So everything changed after that, and honestly, I don't feel like my life has ever been the same or that it will be the same. But I've, obviously, I've, I've pulled through and I'm here now. But, you know, I feel like I spent all this time working towards something. And as soon as my son passed away, it was like none of that mattered at all. It, like, nursing school, my job, my life, nothing mattered to me at all. Um, if you want more details about why my son passed away and the story of my stillbirth, um, I will link my video here. Um, but sometimes life just throws you something so, so terrible and devastating that you think that you're never going to recover from, and somehow you manage to. You find strength within yourself, and I never considered myself to be a strong person or someone that people would look up to or anything like that, but here I am. You know, I've, I'm... I survived, I'm surviving, I'm figuring it out still. So I'm trying to just keep this like strictly, strictly about like this whole process of like trying to get into nursing school. So Braxton passed away in September, September 11, 2018. And mind you, at this time I'm still enrolled in my lifespan psychology class. If I would have dropped it, that means I would have had to wait a whole entire year to reapply because I would have had to take that class and medical terminology uh, just to apply to the program. And I, I would have had to have them completed, but since they had just added it during this time, um, it was okay for me to just be enrolled. So I thought about it and thought about it, and somehow, I don't even know, like, looking back, I don't know how the F I did it. But I went back to my class, my psychology class. I only missed two days. Uh, the class was once a week. I went back two weeks after my son died. And I aced the class. <laughs> and it was so fucking hard. I never cuss on my channel, but it was so hard. Like, this class talks about lifespan psychology. So it goes from infancy to the older adult. And uh, I just remember sitting there when... They would talk about babies and like the APGAR score. I remember the APGAR score came up on one of my exams and I just remember like thinking that my son had a zero score when he was born because he wasn't alive and just like crying and taking my exams. And you know, I had emailed my instructor before I went back to school to let her know what was going on. And I used to sit at the very, very back corner and I would sit like this and every time something would trigger me, I would just go like this and cry and nobody saw me in class like I don't think nobody but my instructor noticed it because you know she was the only one that would see me but I did it <laughs> I did that you know and it, it's something that I'm just proud of myself for having the courage to go back and face it and to keep trying towards this goal that I've had
Okay, so let's fast forward <laughs> to my third time applying to nursing school. Obviously, after like my second time applying, I didn't follow up with like taking the next steps to proceed with the application process because I didn't care. I was grieving and there was just no way it was just not on my mind and I don't think I would have been in the right mindset to even try to take the T's a month after my son died. There was just no way at all. So I applied again for the third time, <laughs> February 2019. So at this time, I had just found out about Brisa. And I know sometimes people think like, wow, like you just had your son, he just passed away and then you got pregnant so quickly right away. But if you've, one, you've never experienced it, you don't know how heavy the grief is. And, you know, I was pregnant for the whole nine months and we had the whole nursery set up. We had everything set up perfectly to bring our child home. So, of course, there was this big need to just want to mother a baby. And we were lucky enough to get pregnant with Brisa after three months. And so, yeah, I applied again to the nursing program. February 2019, I had just found out about Brisa. And I'm like, this is the time. <laughs> like, I'm getting in. Like, this is the third time, you know. So, I applied. I got invited for the teas again. This time I scheduled the teas. I studied my freaking ass off for the teas. <laughs> I took the teas. April of 2019. Um, I got an 83 and if you're not familiar with the T's like 83 doesn't seem like a good score. It doesn't seem like impressive at all but I'm so proud of it. I think the average is like 65 or 69. That's like the national average um, and I scored 100 in math. <laughs> I'm so proud of that. So yeah, I I got my T-score and my school has a point system. So it's like your GPA, your cumulative GPA, your science GPA, the score of your T's, all these different things like add up to points. So I remember thinking I just want to score really high on the T's so I can just add up more points. So I ended up getting accepted and oh my god, I can't tell you how happy I was. I felt like like life tried to bring me down and I just came back fighting harder than ever. And <laughs> you know, at that time too, when I got accepted last semester, I, w I was already doing YouTube. So I was gonna post a video about like how I got accepted and how excited I was and ready. And I felt like things in my life were turning back around and I was starting to be a lot more positive again. I went to my first orientation on June 12th and yeah, you know, I felt like the ball was rolling and everything. Then the next day, I get put on bed rest by my doctor. Modified bed rest. So yeah, and that's like another story that was so scary to go through that after going through full term stillbirth. To have your doctor tell you that you're at risk for preterm labor this time, it's just, I was so scared. And there was like a tiny, tiny, tiny part of me that was like, you know, I've gone through so much. I've been waiting so long to start the program. You know, I'll just kind of take it easy, but I'm still going to start school. And the better, like the bigger half of me was like, hell no, there's no way we're going to risk this pregnancy with Brisa just to start the nursing program now. So I followed my doctor's orders and I had to wait again to start the program. So at that time, someone from my school had told me, like one of the administrators there had told me that they were going to hold my place in the nursing program because I was put on bed rest. So long story short, that information was false. So I had to reapply. Even though I had my spot in the program, I was approved, I did the T's, I did everything, I had to reapply <laughs> again. Let's fast forward to September 2019. So now, like, this is so emotional for me. This was a year, almost exactly a year after my son passed away and it was just like, I felt like history was repeating itself and I reapplied again <laughs> for the fourth time and at this point, I'm just so nervous because, you know, I'm thinking, what if people this semester score higher than me on the T's or what if they have more points? What if I don't get in? Like, what am I going to do, you know? So long story short, I got in. <laughs> yeah, that was September and I'm in the program now. I can't even begin to tell you all the emotions that I felt the first time putting on my uniform, trying it on. And I'll never forget my first day of class walking to campus, I had to like hold the tears back because 
I didn't want people to be like, oh my god, why is this girl so emotional? But nobody knows what I've gone through. Nobody knows that I was walking to class and I felt like my baby was with me. Cheering me on, just saying. Saying, I knew you can do it, mom. I'm so proud of you, mom. That was like exactly how I felt when I was walking to class on my first day. <laughs> I know, I'm so emotional. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at now. And I hope that I have time with the baby, with Risa and everything to be able to post some updates about how it's going um, in the nursing program. A lot of people ask what I would want to work in. And originally, originally, I really wanted to do peds. But after going through what I went through with Braxton, I just don't know if I'm strong enough for that. Um, I do think that I might do really well as an L&D labor and delivery nurse. And I would love to have the opportunity to be there for a mom who is going through what I went through. And, you know, just tell her. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. And you're gonna be okay. I went through this too. You know, you're gonna survive because at that time you just feel like life has no purpose. But I know I kind of rambled a lot in this video. Sorry. <laughs> but I hope that it's helpful for anyone who is going through something rough. If you're grieving, if you're trying to apply for nursing school and you're going through a lot, trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Just don't give up. Just stay focused. And yeah, just number one thing is don't give up. Bye-bye. My breezy curl is back. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're in nursing school, if you're applying, if you're doing your prereqs, um, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see more videos about my experiences as I go through nursing school. Or just leave a comment and let me know what types of videos you all want to see because I don't really know if I'm going to have so much time to do the vlogs as much as I used to. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. A big part of me just having the courage to keep going and try to make my family and my babies proud of me is a lot of my strength comes from you all. You guys are such a big support system to me. I love talking to you in the comments. I love reading your comments. I feel like we're just this big group of friends and it's just so awesome to me to have that. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so it's the day before my first day of nursing school. It's so crazy saying that. I just took my makeup off so that I could try on the uniform and kind of like get ready for tomorrow. It feels so surreal wearing it. I put one of Jonathan's work stickers here to cover the name of my school, just in case, just to be safe. And it's kind of like big on me, but I really don't even care. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just so excited to finally be starting school. This is what my uniform looks like. Excuse the fingerprints in the mess and breezes room. I cannot believe the day is finally here. I've been working towards this forever. I'm not gonna cry right now. <laughs> but yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna sit down and like talk about my whole journey, like what it took to get here, uh, everything that's happened. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited.